Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas Eve! Eve. Oh, that was quite like demure for oh, us. Oh, demure. Hey Come everyone. <laughs> Those two words don't go together. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's tell you what today's video is about. I'm scared. I am. I don't know why she's scared, because she's very good at talking. And this is a talking video because it is a Q&A with Mama Grimes. I feel like I never actually introduce you anymore because I just assume people know who you are. But if you don't, this is my twin sister. <laughs> she's actually my mum. Yep. And yeah, she's on my channel a lot because she's pretty damn fabulous. Yes. And best friend. Beats, she's got quite a few of those, but I'm one of them. The top best friend, aren't I? You, you make me sound popular. <laughs> oh, I wish. She is. Joking. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. so today's Q&A, I asked you guys what you wanted to know about us, slash our relationship, slash anything to do with both of us. Mum doesn't actually know what these questions are. Which is why I'm scared. I mean, I think they're really sweet questions. So I've, I've had to pick like some of the top ones that were most asked Good because idea. there was just too many questions. So sorry, maybe in the next Q&A we can answer your question. But yes, there's still loads to get through. So let's get a wiggle on. We're going to try not to talk too much, are we? Oh, of course because not. Because we... Scant honour. We go on and on and Scant on and on. Scant honour. So yes. Um, <laughs> I feel like the first one I'm going to do is people always want to know about you coming from Poland Aww. and your journey here, why you came, blah, 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 blah. Okay, blah, 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 blah. The floor is yours because <laughs> I can't answer this question for okay. well. you. Okay, you better time me. Uh, so <laughs> I, I left Poland at the age of 18. I actually came here for a holiday. Then those who know the history, solidarity came to life and the borders were closed so I couldn't actually return. It was kind of forced upon me. Best forced play the yeah, place most thing ever happened. Yeah, so... Because um, you got me out of it. <laughs> uh, and don't forget Papa Grimes and Anya. Anyhow, so... And uh, Alfie. And Alfie. So... And Chloe. Oh my good God, good gracious God. <laughs> Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so the first 10 years were hell. I'm not going to pretend. Um, I... I always intended to return to Poland. I could never see myself settling down here. It, it was so hard because everyone in Poland said to me, streets in England are paved with gold. It's so easy out there. If you've been to England, you know they're not. <laughs> That's they're not paved the with chewing gum. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that was such a good that one. Was a good one. <laughs> so, <laughs> talking about the streets, I did actually spend some time living. On the streets. I thought you were about to say on the streets. But not working. Sound like a not working. Not working the streets, just to put that right. So I was lonely, sometimes homeless, but I had a dream and I've achieved that dream. So 30, I think six or seven years on, I'm living that dream. So guys out there, honestly, visualize yourself where you want to be and just work towards it. It's worth it. Can I it. just say, when we move like this, the camera shakes. Oh, okay. So we need to be very careful because last time someone commented, is there a ghost? Because every time we move, every time mum moves, it goes like this, like I see the camera go, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I like to gesticulate, especially when I'm speaking from the heart. So, so yeah, so I started uh, my career in recruitment, then I set up my own business, then... Oh, people do ask what is what you and dad yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Then I met Mr. Grimes at the mature age of 30. I honestly, I was up on that shelf and I just thought, I'm gathering dust, I'm gathering dust. Come on, come on, someone come along. And he did. We met in a nightclub. Great, great How, choice. Great choice. We met in a nightclub. How embarrassing. Classy. Classy. My best friend at the time, who sadly now passed away. So um, you guys so may have heard about You her might before. have heard. So she picked my husband's uh, friend and thought he's good looking. I looked at my husband and, well, well no, he was a husband at the time. I looked at him and said, why do I always get the ugly one? But, you know, he can't be that bad because I produced. <laughs> she went, why do I get the ugly one? Then she married him. <laughs> yeah. He must yeah. have been a really great personality. That's it. So five years later, he went on one knee and said, Roses are red, red violets are blue, blue, my name is Grimes, would, would you, you like, like yours to be too? That was the most romantic That's thing. That's the only romantic thing only he's thing. ever done. <laughs> Absolutely. So I was in recruitment at the time, he was a surveyor, and then we discovered Cotswolds, which is where we live now, uh, and 
by some strange coincidence we started to rent properties out and that's what we do now so we look after properties and we fill them every weekend with new guests so we are always fixing toilets and fridges and etc etc so and christmas is like the worst, the worst period time of year. because uh, everything goes wrong yeah. and obviously they want a break as well so it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. but look us up it's www.cotswoldspaholidays.com i'll link it down below we will well, Do you so, want to ever come to the Cotswolds? Okay, so someone asked, have we always had our relationship, like our bond that we do now? Okay, I'll let you talk now. now. Well, we, we can share, <laughs> but I I genuinely don't think we did. I remember okay, when... Okay, can I just say something? Sorry, apologies, darling. Okay, so when you watch <laughs> programmes about um, motherhood, they say that oh, okay, the first yeah. year in child's life is the most important year. Okay, so when Misha was born, three weeks later, three weeks she later, it off. I was a career woman. Um, I went back to work, and look at us now. Exactly, balls to you. <laughs> you personally, apparently. No, not you personally. But yeah, so I remember when I was about six years old, mm. mum broke her wrist, and I don't know why this is really cemented in my brain. Yeah, probably because it was a very traumatic experience. Yeah. But anyway, still I... got the scars to show. Yeah, she does. Um, and she won't go ice skating ever again. <laughs> this boy just. Yeah, went into they me. walloped her over. Yeah, and I was a professional. Stop walloping though, because the camera, the camera, remember? <laughs> so, yes, I remember that I wasn't very close with mum then, and Anya was the one that was closer with mum, and she yeah. was looking after her. I she was older. I was younger. Yeah. And then, as far as I can remember, it's just been like this since then. Like, I don't, I don't remember it though, because I, I was a little kid. Yeah, I cannot pinpoint, but I would say that actually pageantry is what brought us close together. Oh, no, I'd say we were already on a weird level 13, of closeness. 13, when you first started competing. Mm, Not I when suppose. I started competing. I suppose. Yeah. I, I don't so. know. I've, Having something in common, I I've think, always is been very a, important. I've always been a mummy's girl, though. Like, oh, gosh, yeah. I love my dad to pieces. Yeah. But I am a mummy's girl. Like, everyone's either a mummy's girl or yeah. a daddy's girl. I'm not quite sure what Anya is. Uh, I say like, both. Both, actually. Yeah. Oh, but I would like to add to that. I do think that so many people, like, a lot of people message me nowadays and they're like, oh, you and your mum are so close, like, I wish I had that relationship. And because I've had this relationship, I know how had had this relationship. I know how incredible it is. But I also can see from other friends and other family that aren't that close with their parents. Mm. Like, I think it's something that you have to work from both sides. Like, we drive each other crazy sometimes, yeah. but we both put in the effort. And it's not as if, you guys probably see vlogs where we're going away mm. somewhere and we're doing something exotic. Yeah. But we are there in and out for each other. Like, we... If, uh, shopping together, yeah, exactly. we cook together, but not, we like, clean together. Not like shopping, like, shopping, like, glamorous shopping. shopping yeah. Like, food like shopping. Tesco's yeah. and yeah. Lidl and everything okay. like that. Like, we, we think about each other before we think about ourselves. Yeah. It's almost like, you know when... Okay, you know when you're in a relationship and you're in that honeymoon phase? Yeah. I feel like we're a bit like that. Permanently. Because we think... I mean, obviously, we still fight in bigger. Yeah, it doesn't distract from the relationship I have with my husband. It doesn't distract from the relationship that I've got with my other daughter. But what we have is very, very unique. I remember I was once... We were once in, in a shop where we used to live. And the girls were talking behind our backs, saying, Misha's got her mum round her little finger. She that. can get anything she can out of her. What a lot of... Whatever. You know... And if she gets something, it is because she has worked for it, quite honestly. You know parents that tip their children to the cleaning and... Oh my and gosh, work. you I never pay me to do cleaning. That. I absolutely despise that. She's there through the rough. I may not know, and I may not be the dishwasher duty person, no, but I have definitely. other duties. <laughs> she and does. that's how it works. I may not do the washing, yeah. but I do other stuff. Yeah. So. We recognise what each other's strengths are. and yeah. We don't even need to discuss no, we just what part we're going to do. Because we just know we it's just really know. weird. Like, even if we arrive to a hotel room, we'll both know which yeah. side of the bed we're going to. And, and for those who believe in soulmates, you're looking at them. Most definitely. I don't think soulmates just have to be a relationship. No. I feel like soulmates can be family or friends and Absolutely. stuff like that. So I, I, I think between you and us, you and us, mm. she was my mother in a previous life. Because very often she forgets what role she's performing in this relationship. I look very good for my age, you do realise. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so this question is from Stephanie. And she said, who Stephanie is your favourite Williams? She was like, Gareth thinks it's him. <laughs> I picked Dawn. Oh, Dawn. I picked Dawn. Yeah, we love Dawn. We love Stop Dawn. Stop 
the bed. <laughs> Gareth, Stephanie, we don't like either of you. No, we just we like Mama you. Dawn. Yeah, Mama Dawn is our favourite. Sorry. Toodle pep. So, next one is... Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years' time? Hmm. Well, how old will I be in five years' time? I'm 18, 23. 19. That's scary. Yeah. That's so scary. Okay, so. In and, and for mind, the record, I'd be 61. <sighs> I know. Never mind. I'm still intending to look like this. Yeah, you better. You better. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe I'll have got some, away. Maybe I've got some boobs in five years' time. <laughs> Unlikely, but you never know. Okay, so five years' time, I've said that I would want to be living in London by the yeah. time I'm 21, which is coming mm. less and less realistic, <laughs> considering London is very pricey. It certainly is. But, yes, yeah, so, living in London... If I'm, wait, 23? 23. Okay, do I need to have met Mr. Right by yet? Nah. Like, I'll give myself maybe nah. two or three more years. Yeah. I'm gonna be young, dumb, and <laughs> free, and whatever. Yes. Chloe, you hired for the next five years. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe, you can come live with me. I always said to Chloe, like, would you ever move out of Scotland? Mm. And I don't think she would. I'm like, come and live with me, oh, please. Yes, yeah, she will. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, Chloe, by the way, is my other adopted daughter. My best friend. You that, would have seen her in so many I videos. I worship and adore her, and... We have the same relationship with Chloe yeah, as I have with Misha, honestly. We, we had it's one incredible. night when we were at Chloe's in Scotland and it was probably the funniest night of all of our lives. And it was me, Mum and Chloe and we were having a sleepover in and this And I was room. giving them some sex education tips because I'm a mature, experienced was, woman. I wish I could put the videos in <laughs> no, because can't. I can't because they are just PG. too X-rated. <laughs> but genuinely, none of us have cried so much like we were eating food. Cried. When we mean cried, we mean laughed. Yeah, like cry of laughter, like yeah. Peeing our pants. Yeah, yeah mum did in the, vlog, in the vlog. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that vlog. It's the 10,000 yeah. calorie one. We it's only talk thing. about it, we don't actually show it. Just, just yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't literally have like a camera on mum peeing. <laughs> That'd be a step too far. <laughs> but back to five years' time. So, Chloe, you'll still be in my life. You better uh -huh. be anyway. Uh -huh. I'll be 23 years old, I'll be living in London, and work wise, I don't even know. I, I personally think that my dream would be for you to move to the next stage, as in... I agree. Still very much focus on media. Social media. Social, Social media, media is obviously where I want yeah. to continue my journey, and obviously I love YouTube, and I want to mm. continue to grow on YouTube. But I would also like to branch out. I mean, do lots one, of travel. One, yeah, with Mama Grimes. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> one, oh yeah, I want to go to Australia within the next five years. Yeah, most I want to go to where else? Where else do I want to go to? Well, we're going to um, can we go America back to next Dubai? year. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, it. Let's go to Dubai yeah. in the next yeah. five years. Yeah. Come on, guys, you can come with us and make <laughs> a great vlog. But. I obviously would love to bring out my not my own clothing line because I'm not very creative in With the design. way. Yeah, I can't design things, but I can style them. Yeah. So that's kind of why an, a style edit would work best for me mm -hmm. because that's kind of what my yeah. my specialty is. I think mm -hmm. my specialty is just being weird. Yeah. And I hope to be equally as happy and healthy. Obviously, that's like mega important. Yeah. I hope you're happy and healthy. I hope yeah. Anya and Dad is and Alfie and everyone that I love. Yeah. Yeah. And I just kind of hope that life just carries on, if not gets even better. Yeah. Don't yeah. know if it's possible, yeah. but a that girl can perfect. try. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so this is one question that Mum did read in the comments and she oh. really wanted to answer. Did I? Yes. Do I regret this now? <laughs> no. So someone's asking, what is too much to discuss with your mum or your daughter. Now, considering we just said that we were having sex ed lessons with me and Chloe, I don't I think, think I answered that question. I don't think we have a line. Like, yeah. we, we don't, really. Yeah. So, some people may think it's it's unhealthy, but... Um, I'm, I'm pretty healthy. Yeah, <laughs> if I can just explain, the way I was brought up was very traditional, so the children were seen but not heard. <laughs> so, you know, I did not I'm have... I'm pretty sure I'm heard, I'm seen, <laughs> and all of you above. I mean, I did not discuss anything with my parents. I didn't discuss anything with, with my mum. You know, the things that happened to girls when they're young that was just never mentioned you know I did feel a little bit isolated and um, I didn't want Misha to go through the same so I don't force myself upon her and I know very often she will say like stop mum that's enough but you yeah, know but it's not in a way that like stop mum that's enough because yeah. I don't I, I when I see things of pushy parents that are like forcing their children to do something yeah never or anything that. like that mum is not like that and I think people yeah. assume that and yeah. it really gets un 
under my skin and it really yeah. annoys me because I know that it's not like that and mm -hmm. I know that mum isn't pushing me. Maybe she's nagging me because I yeah. forgot to send an email or something yeah. like that. I'm her things to do list. She's just helping me and if she does get too much, which she literally barely does, I'm just like, mm -hmm. go away. <laughs> Give away. Yeah. But I, I, I would never allow myself to be in that relationship where my parent is pushing me forward to do something that I didn't want to do because no. then what's the point? Because you're not making yourself happy, you're only no. making your parents happy. Absolutely, yeah. So there are parameters, uh, but now that she's... Mum doesn't seem to know them. <laughs> no. You mean you? No. Excuse now, me. No, no. I mean, obviously things have changed and the older Misha um, has grown, the more open I have been. Oh, but there completely. Is, honestly, you know, there is nothing that we would not discuss, she wouldn't discuss with me or I don't have her any, father. The only we, secrets yeah. I have right now is what I've got her for Christmas, <laughs> which she's going to find out. Very, in very a few soon. days, but for you guys tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I just find it very comforting to have that kind of relationship. Mm. Uh, Misha doesn't just come to me for advice. She has to listen to my whinging as well. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's very much a two-way thing. We're there supporting each other. And, yeah, we do discuss things that probably most, most people daughters wouldn't. don't. One thing that I do also want to add is that I think mum is special in the fact that I would come to her with anything. And mm. I know that that's true because... Mm. All my friends mm. come to her with, like, my oh. friends will tell my mum absolutely anything. Okay. They won't tell their own parents. Uh, but the fact that her friends are so comfortable with me because you see what you get. Oh, I sometimes wee myself <laughs> because I have forgotten to cross my legs. You know, life is too short to pretend to be something that you are not. I think that's key with me and yeah. you. I think when people meet us, they think, like, oh, they're so, like, up themselves. No. <laughs> We are the most down to earth people you will ever meet. Honestly. Because I am not some I, I'm someone that takes the mick out of myself. Me because too. life is too short to not. Yeah. Like make yeah. yourself the butt of the joke because it makes it so much easier. easier. Like Absolutely. genuinely. I love being the butt of the joke. Everyone takes the yeah. mick out of me. I don't know anyone that doesn't take the mick out of me, <laughs> but it's part of my charm, hopefully. Yeah, most definitely. So be true to yourself. True. So this is a more lighthearted one. Mm -hmm. And it's what's one food and drink you would have for the rest of your life? Food, avocado. No, drink. I feel like you pick a meal. Do you pick a meal? Drink water and lemon. Oh, no, no. A latte. Oh, gosh. Yes, actually, change yeah. my mind. Soy yeah. latte, Soy almond latte. latte. Yeah. But do. what meal would we have? Probably roast. Oh. <laughs> I do love a good roast. <laughs> or... Thai food. Yeah. Or Wagamama's. Mm. Uh, or, or like a good not burger. Not always. Not, yeah, yeah Wagamama's is like very one. Hummus. One. Well, I am a we girl of four. food <laughs> and I don't pick one. So if I went on a desert island and I had to take, what would I take? Whole foods. A what? As a shop? As a shop. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we've gone from one food and one drink to she's <laughs> taking the whole store with her and whole foods. <laughs> no, no. One food that we could have. Go sweet potato. potato. I know, but you know, I don't even. Our favourite food would look like, like a sweet potato. I like sweet potato, salmon, avocados, um, nuts, yep. almond butter, chocolate, Red, dark chocolate. Yeah, so much. The we literally too we, long. we love too much food. Parsnips. Oh, pigs honey and roasted parsnips. Only at Christmas. Mm. But we never do pigs in blankets. No. We do pigs in Palmer house. Yeah. I don't know if that's allowed, but that's that, what we that's do because we we're extra. So yeah. I thought it's nice to have some that like yeah. spice things up. Okay, this we're gonna have to think about. What is one thing that each other do that really annoys the other person? Like, I, are we thinking like light-hearted or are we thinking like deep soul destroying? Let's go for deep soul destroying. Let me think then. But okay, I can think I of one, but it's light-hearted. You answer first then. Okay, so. Misha forgets that Mama Grimes is 56 years old. So I don't want to keep on reminding me. <laughs> so so um, my technology skills are not as good Let's as hers. Let's just prove this. <laughs> Mum, swipe up to get the flashlight on. <laughs> Come on. I just can't do it. I mean, so, just use your thumb. Um, also, obviously, my memory isn't as what it used to be when I was 21, so she gets irritated if I repeat Oh, myself. I know what my thing is, actually. <laughs> and, yeah, just sometimes she oversteps the mark and tries to control <laughs> me a tad, and I just won't permit it. I have to rein her back, slap her, and remind her that Mama Grimes is the one in control. Okay. Mine are all like little things. Whilst she lives under our roof anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Once she starts paying the mortgage, I might change my mind <laughs> and sit in a corner and knit. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
knit. Yeah. I can't imagine you no. ever knitting that. Oh, you wouldn't knit. You'd like Swarovski things. Oh. Like you'd put crystals on things, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah. That would be. That was gonna be Grandma Kasha. <laughs> okay. So. Some of your little annoying things. Yep. Mum's pronunciation of words. Yep. Dubai being one of them. <laughs> Portfolio <laughs> being another one. Series. <laughs> she always used to call Hollyoaks a type of cheese, and I can't remember what. Sorry? You always used to call Hollyoaks a type of cheese, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe like a Wensley day. <laughs> no. I think she dreamt then, that one. Then, Mum will say something, and she will say she didn't say that thing. So me and Dad will be sat there and Mum will be saying like, Mum will say something in the complete wrong order. She'll be like, please, can you turn the light on? When she means off. And then me, and then I'm like, Mum, you just told me to turn the light on. She's like, no, I didn't. I'm like, Dad, didn't she just say turn the light on? She's like, yeah. Okay, I'm very much a believer that if you can say something in two words, use two words, yeah. not 20. Mum's like the thingy on top of the thingy, thingy with the thingy yeah. with the thingy. But, yeah. I'm but she understands. Yeah, yeah. I no, understand. 100% of the time it's just Papa Grimes that sadly I can't really think of anything deep rooted I feel like all the things no. that you do that annoy me are quite superficial level yeah, yeah. like they're not like you know people have their their issues where you couldn't necessarily be friends with someone you couldn't be no. in a relationship with someone because that your issue with them is so deep rooted but I feel like all of ours are like no. quite superficial and we forget about them within about three seconds okay well I don't know if we've got that question but now I'm gonna turn it on its head and say what do you like most? most. We haven't got that question, but yeah, oh, look at nice. her always being positive. That is one of her strengths. She's a positive yeah. person. But I mean, we pretty much are both positive yeah. people. I think it's good to see. Um, I grew up very much in an environment that everyone is guilty. I'm very much a believer that no one is guilty because they all innocent until innocent proven guilty. Until proven guilty. And I very much always, always see the good side of everyone. But if actually, you cross me, actually, actually, that's one of your yeah. that's one of your things. I think because I'm born. Sorry to interrupt, but because okay. I'm born in that's this day and age that irritates me. She always talks over me and interrupts me. She always talks over <laughs> me and interrupts me as well. Well, it's because we both have too much to say. Yeah. But I think I've been born in the day and age where yeah. you're expecting people to disappoint you and you don't take yes. things on face value. Yeah. Like if someone says something yeah. to me and they promise me, I don't believe them, I never do, because yeah. I know that yeah. literally everyone, apart from a few selected special people in your yeah. life, let you down. Like yeah. so many people in my life have let me down because they overpromise and they underdeliver, and that is my pet yeah. hate about yeah. life. But Mum is one of those people that always see the best in people and they always say, oh no, oh no, and then I end up being right, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. most definitely, as you said, over-promising and under-delivering. Never do that, guys. Don't do it, please. Just don't promise. That's the easiest thing. Uh, it's my literal it? pet hate. Like, yeah. I could never have a friendship with someone or have anything yeah. with anyone you, you, who, who does that. Yeah, you know when you bump into someone that you haven't seen for a year and they say, oh, let's go on holidays together, yeah! Day. You don't hear from them for two years, but you know, there you go. There's no need to say these things. Okay, we were on a positive note, and okay, now I've gone really On deep. a positive light, so what do you like most about me? Oh, why am I making me go first? Because I'm thinking about mine. Don't. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pick one because Mum has loads of positives, and we all know that. Oh. But she literally puts me and our family and everyone oh. before herself like a million percent. I know everyone says that, mm. but genuinely, if there was one last sweet potato left, <laughs> she'd half it. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She'd give it to me, and then I'd half it. No, no, Misha, you'd give it to me. You would insist I have it. I'd like to shove it down yeah. my face. <laughs> but no, honestly, she would give me every single dime, every single penny, oh, every you. single bit of emotion that she has, and she supports me. You guys will see that she supports me to yeah. the world beyond. But like, can I, can I, I just I, I just can't. emphasis, and I don't live my life for Misha, yeah. I support her, and there is a fine line. Yeah, Not that I'm completely. complimenting myself here, but no, Misha, I maybe agree. explain. I agree, I think a lot of people think, again, a bit like the whole pushy parent thing, yeah. that mum's like living her life for me. Like, people assume that mum did pageants, and then I'm doing pageants, because mum no. wanted me to do pageants. It's like, no, I forced yeah, mum into pageants. <laughs> like, mum isn't living her life through me, mum's living my life with me, yeah. and enjoying oh. It, hopefully yeah absolutely yeah that's 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 my positive of you you've got many more but we won't go into details <laughs> now what i most admire about misha uh, again there are so many many things but her determination and i love how you say determination <laughs> yeah, that's another word. Word. Yeah. <laughs> determination <laughs> that's what happens when you've got a foreign mother and um, she Can you say it again please determination there we go it's beautiful isn't it determination it's 
it's the quality that will get her in life where she wants to be. I know you guys see the glamorous side mm -hmm. and very often the, the messy side, especially after the filming. But truly, oh, I didn't, I, she means it's in like the mess of yeah, the floor. Oh, absolutely. Not of my life. No, not her life. <laughs> but truly, um, she works her little butt off and... Um, Nowadays, I think a lot of people assume that because I created a good home for you, yeah. because um, we are um, comfortable uh, with our lives, that Misha has been handed everything on the plate. That is definitely people always say not to, to me, the case. People always used to she make wasn't a joke. born with a, with yeah, a silver spoon. Silver spoon people in always her used to make a joke that mum was born with a silver spoon in her mouth, which would get me so angry because I know that mum has yeah. come from nothing yeah. and she's worked her way up and she's done it herself. So yeah. continue, sorry. And, to and, like and I think, again, um, a lot of people would assume that because... She hasn't had to live the life that I did, which I wouldn't have wanted to. And there isn't a parent out there that would want to put the child through what I had to go through when I first came to this country. That everything has been easy and it hasn't. And that's why that determination is why I admire you most. Because as you all know, because I keep on going on about it, Misha doesn't like it, but you know, she has got Lyme's disease. But looking at her, listening to her, she exudes nothing else but positivity and yes she's got her down days but then she just said mum kick me because no, I've got no right and she has got the right but she's turned that most negative experience into a most positive one favorite memory I think that's really difficult but I know that the the trips in my mind sorry this is for me or for both for, of us favorite memory of us together oh I've got one Come on. let's just say it together Hold on, we're going to test this now. Three. Our favourite memory. One, two, two three. three. Paris! <laughs> yeah! But I feel like that, that gives the wrong impression that our favourite yeah. memory is a glamorous trip. But it was yeah. incredible. I think it was when I was like 13, 14. 14. Yeah. I went to Paris just for like three days. But I also think my favourite memories are like the little things like if I go away somewhere and I'm coming back really late on the train mum is there waiting at the train station for me and her baby grow like our memories are, well, you always remember the big memories like the big occasions mm -hmm. but it's our habits and like our lifestyle that yeah. we live that, she that gives a, us the memories she, oh, if she's been away for at least a week she gets a little welcome back home card <laughs> and maybe yellow roses her favourite cl client Client. Oh no, she gets no clients. I promise. Her favorite flowers, but they do the same for me. Yeah, we, we go mad for birthdays, don't we? We decorate. Absolutely mad. We. But well, decorations can it. be decorations can be yeah. inexpensive. You don't exactly. need to spend shop. That's all you need. Chloe's birthday in London. I literally bought some banners from yeah. Poundland, and she was she was loving it. So yeah, I don't know how we've got on this subject, but no. this one made me laugh. And this is a question for you. Okay. What's the funniest thing I've ever done that's got you in trouble? So when Misha was a about six years old, I got a letter from school asking me if I would give them a permission to introduce Misha to sex education. Of course, no problem. We six are years old. Six Tabion. years old. I know, very young. Anyway, so about two days later, we are outside our new house in a new area, speaking to our new neighbours, and of course, Mama Grimes wanted to impress everyone. So Misha was on her bike. And I can hear her. <laughs> this is yes, me on my bike. Cycling along, and she screamed from top of her voice Mum, 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 I hurt, hurt my, my penis! penis! So her biology at the age of six was... Nothing's changed. No, nothing's changed. <laughs> so that was probably the funniest. And I honestly did not know what to do with myself. I honestly don't think they ever spoke to us again. <laughs> I can't say I blame no. them. To be fair, we don't really know any of our neighbours. We're not very neighbourly people, are no, we? No, we're not. We've lived... We, we move quite often, like we literally move like every two years for some reason, yeah. that's just how we work, we get bored. We, we either make big best friends with them or, or we, we don't, don't talk speak to them, to them at the all. Slightest. Not that we're avoiding them, we just don't see each other. We're just cooperating in the house or we're out, like, we're, yeah. isn't it true though, we're either at home all yeah. the time or we're away, yeah. like and, that's how it works. And a lot of the time we go looking like this in our onesie, so Without I think, any makeup, yeah, so without think, any hair, yeah, we're yeah. not bold. But. They, they don't want to acknowledge us, they just hide in the bushes. <laughs> But, but there you go. Finally, it was just what is who is the biggest influence in your life now? I'm going to steal this question because you are obviously the biggest mm. influence in my life. Mm. Because who wouldn't want to be mm. Mama Grimes? Like, <laughs> oh, genuinely, tell me someone out there. Like, she's just ultimate mother goals. Oh. And I hope I 
pray to be half the woman, three quarters, even maybe an eighth the woman that she is, <laughs> to my children, to my family, to my wife, to everything. Um, wife? <laughs> Husband. Have you got something to tell us, Misha? I think it's really enjoyable doing these videos because mm. it's not often that you sit back and you reflect. Yeah, I do. So, yes, this has been mine and mum's Christmas Eve Q&A. I can't believe it's Christmas for you guys tomorrow. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited. We're going to be eating all our favourite foods. Yeah, we are. Well, maybe not Christmas at roast, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. We're, like, planning out what we're going to eat on every single day for, like, the yeah. next week because <laughs> we are very excited. We need to go and buy the food right we now. We certainly do. Um, but, yes, yeah, so yeah. let's wrap this up. I hope you guys have enjoyed again to know me a little bit more and Mama Grimes a little bit more. Let me know down below of any other videos you want to see from us yeah. in the new year and any other questions you may have for a next Q&A and when you want that next Q&A to be like, do you want them a monthly thing, a bi-monthly thing, mm. a quarterly monthly thing? Yearly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Whichever, but just yeah. let us know. Yeah, exactly. So thank you so, so much for watching. Merry Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas. Hope all your wishes and dreams come true in 2018. And stay healthy, stay positive, keep on smiling. Yeah, that, that's nice. Keep smiling. Yeah, keep smiling. Because that's what we like to do. <laughs> so, yes, have a very Merry Christmas. And, and Nisha's and my teeth are real. Honestly. Oh, yeah, my teeth are real. Yeah. Everyone always asks. If you go back, I have a teeth whitening routine. Yeah. Video. I had braces for five years. My teeth are real. I, I have something called... Composite bonding. Composite bonding. Um, just to even up them a little bit. But so it's, it's not like, veneers. No, it's not veneers. But, yeah. Do I, recommend it. Don't know why we're talking about teeth now. Yeah, but, but, anyway, mm. we will see you guys in... We will see you guys on Boxing Day, Day yeah. for our What We Got for Christmas. Christmas. So, Yes. Look forward to it. Bye, guys. Bye. Mwah. Hello. Hello. So, sorry to interrupt this little Q&A slash add in a little bit at the end, but we completely forgot to announce today's giveaway. Now, as today's video had Mama Grimes in it, today's giveaway involves Mama Grimes. I'm worried. Don't act like you don't know what we're doing. Don't give, give me away, please, whatever you yeah, do. Yeah, sadly, Mum's not I love the prize. You too much. <laughs> mum's not the prize. I know we'd all enter, but. Well. You kind of get a bit of Mum. <laughs> And you. So, the final day of Misha's Christmas giveaways, or the hashtag Grimes Girls giveaways, yeah. is. A lunch, lunch with me and Mama Grimes. Now, this is in any major city, say like London, Manchester, Birmingham, Birmingham all that sort of malarkey. So, yep. you need to also get to that city or any city. Edinburgh, Glasgow. Well, how far are you LA in July, that's where we oh, are. Yeah, yeah. And also um, Orlando in July, middle of July. So don't let it stop you. And obviously, yes, very true. Any invitation to Aussie land? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. Why very not? True. We do have quite a few Australian followers. Don't yeah. mind. Can I pop down for for a day? <laughs> totally worth the journey. Yeah. Anyway, so to enter today's giveaway and to win. No, I say win the lunch with me and Mama Grimes. I don't know if that's a prize. Is that I'm more worried. of like a nightmare? What if, what if no one actually wants to win? So, to enter today's giveaway, you need to follow me on Instagram, which is Misha underscore Grimes. Follow Mum on Instagram, which is Kasha underscore Grimes. Like my... No, wait. I get all the likes and the follows and the subscribes confused. So, also like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, pretty please. And comment down below with hashtag Grimes Gals Giveaway. And if you don't have Facebook or you don't have Instagram, not a problem. You can still enter. Just let me know enter. in your comment. And also let me know your Instagram or your Twitter handle in the comment. So if you win, handle. I can easily find you. Handle. This giveaway is till the 1st of January. So you have till the 1st of January at 12 p.m. to enter. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. Get commenting if you want to, please, please. And we will do this lunch at some point next year. Yes. We don't have a fixed date yet, so we can. Whoever wins, we can. Yeah, we work can correspond schedules. and agree and communicate. Yeah, exactly. To the most convenient, suitable time for both parties. Sounds perfect. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A and a yeah. very, very merry yeah. Christmas Eve. And and please comment. Please, please want to go out for lunch with us. Just want to go out for lunch with her. Don't worry. <laughs> I won't come. It's fine. I know everyone likes Mama Grimes oh, more. Oh, shut up. Anyway, so we love you guys lots and bye-bye. Happy Christmas. <laughs>